Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We're looking at the 11th to the 17th of September 2023. So let's see what we have for you. I've got a few cards that have fallen out on the table. I'm just taking the ones that have come out on the table. First one is obsession, focusing too much on one situation. The need to take a step back, okay. Creativity, have fun, express yourself in new ways. Moving on, endings that bring healthy beginnings. I'm going to pull you an angel card. What do we have for Libra? Thank you for the week. 11th to the 17th of September, 2023. Thank you. We have courage. Number 40. Archangel Michael is granting you the strength to persevere. Hopefully you can see that Libra. All right, what do we have for Libra? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guide. Message for Libra for the week. Thank you. Three of Wands. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. Five of Cups. Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles. We have the Star and the Knight of Pentacles. Someone telling you don't don't go back with that person. That's what I'm seeing here. Queen of Cups. Um, I mean, I always say free will in readings, Libra, but it feels like this Queen of Cups can be, uh, it's very good as a mother or generally somebody who's caring, compassionate, a good listener, but exceptionally intuitive to do with matters of the heart as well. Um, they just know, they just know people, you know, they, they realise, they see people, they see people who they are, they have strong intuitive energy. I feel this person, male or female, for your best interests, is saying, don't don't go back with that person. Don't move forward with that person. Whatever they're saying to you, don't don't go back there. That's what I'm getting here. Free will. I feel it's this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, I mean, it doesn't really matter whether they're an Earth sign or not. This can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's somebody, male or female, who's manifesting as Earth energy. We can all do that. We can all manifest and promise stability, security. I mean what I say. You can honestly rely on me. You can depend on me. But they're regretting what they did. Five of Cups. I regret what happened between us. I regret what I did. I can't change what I did. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm hoping that all is not lost to rectify this and for you to take me back. This is the energy for us to start over, for you to forgive me. This is what I'm seeing here, but I'm just so getting this energy of somebody in your life saying, don't go back with that person. They're saying all the right things. They're promising stability and security, but this person does not trust whoever is saying this to you. And there's a sense of strong knowingness. Now, this could also be you. Uh, we can all manifest as court cards, but I'm really getting for a lot of you, somebody who may well be a confident, somebody who you might rely on. Like I said, can be very good as a mother, um, 
somebody who's very caring and nurturing will always tell you your give you your best advice because they care about you this is that person this is the energy here with a star libra the eight of cups and the star is is turning your back on this person i like the way that this is being shown as in color as well i mean it just feels like uh, there is the black cloak, you know, I regret what happened between us, I'm sorry this, you know, I, I can't change anything, but then I, f I see you in this kind of red energy, red cloak, um, this is creativity, this is action, this is inspiration, this is um, driven, it's empowerment, you know, and it's moving, it's walking away and moving forward in faith because you feel it's the right thing to do. Again, the Knight of Pentacles can be slowly but surely getting back on track. It also has a, a financial flavor as well. It can represent new jobs, new business opportunities. It can represent you putting a, a down, or buying a new home or putting a down payment on a new place, um, moving or relocating in some way. Uh, this is what I'm seeing here, Libra. However, so it could be a practical thing. It could also just be slowly but surely getting back on track, moving forward in faith. But you're being told uh, there's absolutely, um, there's blessings coming your way. Have faith. I mean, if, if, if this was a personal reading, it would be spirit telling you that you're going to be okay, you know? But I always say free will in general readings because everyone's circumstances can have nuances that are different. The overarching energy... Three of Wands. Three of Wands is turning your back on a situation, person, place, situation here, and being pretty optimistic and positive on how things are moving forward. Yeah, this feels this feels here, Libra, that you're 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 manifesting a new path. Now this obsession energy, it could well be this person, it might well be that kind of uh, attachment that kind of uh, relationship that has been very difficult to break free from. This could also have been one of those relationships that's on and off again, you know? But you never finally, you might know it, it might not suit you, it might not be somebody who you see yourself with for the long term, but you never get a chance to, or you never did, you're never able to break free of it, you know? You're never able to put them behind you. Um, this just feels this time you're moving on. Again, endings that bring healthy beginnings, and that's definitely what I'm seeing for you. It's by empowered action. I I just feel this person is asking for another chance, forgiveness, to get back on track, to heal with you, to be you know to start over. But I definitely see a person saying, "Don't don't go back to this person." And should you walk away? There are greater blessings coming your way. So don't walk away in the, with the idea that there's no one else out there. There absolutely are blessings coming your way. And I feel this is the energy of, of make the right choice for you from an empowered point of view, which I feel you already know what's the right thing to do. And everything will take care of itself. And that's the energy here. It's have the courage to do what you know is the right thing to do. Free will, Libra. All right, what do we have for Libra? Message for Libra. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realize were lost. Could be coming back to yourself as well. You know, I, for some of you, this person would also be like um, somebody who doesn't like you away from them for too long, you know? And I, we, we can sometimes lose, because this, 
it's so uh, strong, the attachment. Sometimes we can lose that sense of self. I'm definitely getting in this energy coming back to you as well as part of this moving on, breaking free from someone that uh, was a significant person in your life, but it doesn't feel like it was for all the right reasons sometime. Probably both a mix of good and, you know, uh, challenging energy, but it definitely feels like something is making you this time be courageous, empowered, taking action, walking away. That's what I have for you, Libra, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.